Another update on Hurricane Milton. A Hurricane Milton will go down in history as one of the most rapidly intensifying hurricanes on record at peak intensity, a category five with max sustained winds of 180 miles per hour. Now 155 mile per hour winds as a category four as it approaches Florida. How did this happen? the warm Gulf waters. We have seen major hurricanes in the Gulf now for the last five years, at least one a year. Now sea surface temperatures two to four degrees warmer than normal. It gets the fuel for these storms and really gets them going. So what's going to happen here is that we could see it strengthen again to a cat five later today because it's still over the warm water, but a big front is going to help uh, deteriorate it some. So as it approaches landfall a uh, Wednesday evening, Evening, we're going to see it uh, drop to a category three, but it keeps that category three status as it moves over Florida, and that's where the big issue lies. That's why there are hurricane and tropical storm warnings all along that coastline. In addition to just storm surge, that is something that Tampa has never seen, the highest anywhere from 10 to 15, and that's as you get into that Tampa Bay. Just north of that, 6 to 10, 6 to 10 on the southern side, Fort Myers towards Sarasota, an area that was heavy hit and still recovering from Ian just two years ago. Go. And that's not including the rainfall. The rainfall, we're talking 7 to 10 inches. Some localized areas could see up to 15. So again, this is going to be something that parts of the western coast of Florida have never seen before. Fortunately, we're not dealing with anything like that here. In fact, we're staying uh, pretty dry. So I'm going to hand it over to meteorologist Greg Fields. Greg.